mission of terror. We will begin to execute the hostages. A girl murdered and a husband with only one thought, revenge. It's about the terrorists. I want to kill them myself. You're being sent into Czechoslovakia to assassinate three people. If hell is not a cross, I don't want them going over that border. Terminate with extreme prejudice. The odds stacked against the amateur. Next Monday, 10.40 on ITV. Tony Francis introduces European and league footy and super featherweight boxing action in Sports World Extra next on ITV. I can't see. What's he doing? It takes time to prepare the ingredients for an irresistible chicken tikka. <laughs> what do you think of this one? It takes time to create a delicious and nourishing cod mornay. And of course, it takes time to put all the finishing touches to a mouth-watering lasagna. Time you'll be pleased to hear you don't have to spend. Oh, thanks, love. I hope you two made yourselves useful today. We've been helping Mum. <laughs> Around the garden. <laughs> Menu master. A taste of freedom. The minimum investment for shares in the 12 regional electricity companies will be around £250, but your minimum first instalment will be £100. 99 Oh, dear. Can I have a pound? Yes, take it out of the kitty. Um, I'll get it from Gopher. Gopher? To register for a prospectus, ring 0272 272 272. You could buy into what you plug into. The Amstrad PCW 9512's free sheet feeder takes up to 30 sheets of paper at a time, so you can print page after page after... Oh, I want to be a slug. I want to be a soldier. I want to be John Barnes. I, I want to be first. I want to be last. I want to be a brain surgeon. I want to be on time. I want to be in a place of my own. I want to be... I want to be a dad. I want to be somewhere else. I want to be my own boss. I want to be in God. I want to be just here. Whatever you want to be in life, you want to be with Prudential. Because we've spent the time creating a traditionally British roast beef dinner, you'll have plenty of time to do the beds. Menu master, a taste of freedom. Hello, welcome to another week of Nighttime with Thames Television. In a couple of minutes, Tony Francis introduces Barclays and European action. That's in the football, and there's also super featherweight boxing, Sports World Extra. But now, it's exactly half past midnight, so we're going over to ITN for the latest headlines. <laughs> The mission to Baghdad by Edward Heath has run into difficulty, though he has won the release of 50 or so elderly and sick British hostages. He's due to fly home with them later today, Tuesday, but has been arguing the case for the release of other Britons. The hostage talks promised success for much of the day, but ended with a hitch. Mr Heath's delegation wants more hostages freed than the Iraqis will allow. The talks have been given added impetus by the death of a 62-year-old British man in Kuwait. People who are dying for whatever reason highlights the problem even more. I mean, one the part of Mr. He's visit has highlighted the plight of a number of the hostages over here. For those who are trapped, it was a long and fruitless wait. These men's contracts in Iraq are finished. It's thought agreement has been reached to let them go, but not for another month. There are dozens in this category. The hitch appears to center on Mr. Heath's meeting with Saddam Hussein. He believes that from what the president said, more Britons should be given their freedom. Here, the former chancellor, Nigel Lawson, has announced he won't stand for parliament again at the next election. He's been MP for Blaby in Leicestershire since 1974. Mr Lawson, who's 58, resigned as chancellor a year ago over British entry to the European exchange rate mechanism. He was for it. 
Mrs Thatcher has told ministers to find ways of increasing child benefit, which again looked like being held down. The money would have to be found from elsewhere in the Social Security budget. Our political correspondent, Peter Allen. Child benefit has been frozen for three years at £7.25. Putting it up in line with inflation would make it £8.05 and cost £433 million a year. That's too expensive. More likely is the decision to add a small amount to the benefit or aim more money at a particular group of parents. One suggestion is those with children under five, although officials dislike that idea. This sudden review certainly looks like a reaction to the Democrats' victory at Eastbourne. Mrs Thatcher seems to fear another freeze in the benefit will make the government still less popular. And it's been confirmed that the government is negotiating an out-of-court settlement with haemophiliacs who contracted the HIV virus inside NHS hospitals. Victims could share £90 million over four years. We'll have more news for you later in the night. It being Monday, we have two films and two lots of sporting action, and our second film is in an hour. Gregory Peck stars in the A.J. Cronin story, The Keys of the Kingdom. First is Tony Francis and Sports World Extra. <laughs>